We got to play this clip of uh, Kristen Cinema. I mean, this is just um, now. I don't know how to do this comfortably and to refer to it. She has claimed that um, referencing her, and we should be fair that both um, Chris Coons and uh, Carp also thumbs down on the eighteen dollar, uh, fifteen dollar minimum wage. But they didn't um, do so with like a little hip thrust. Well, I mean, Chris Coons did a full booty pop when he uh, did the thumbs down. I thought. They <laughs> do we have an image of that? Do we have the video of that as well? John Tester twerked as he did. Dumb well, but the point is, I think. Jeez. Uh, and in with the masks, they may signal uh, their voting in this manner as a way of making sure that they're hurt. All right, to be fair. But this was evoking John McCain's thumbs down. Except well, this it's true, time but Chris the- Coons and and, uh, and Carper did it too. Um, but she was trying to be dramatic in the way that she did it in order to echo John McCain. Let's put the, let's put uh, cinema up there. Uh, I uh, you know here it is. This has the McCain context too. Okay, she comes in. Watch. Okay, so That's Mitch she's at the top. There. That's Mitch McConnell. She rubs. Hi guys. Make I, sure Mitch McConnell sees her. Ryan Grimm he, pointed that out on he Twitter. He doesn't look. He doesn't look He's bad. Like, I don't. Oh yeah. Real Tracy Flick energy there. Yeah. And does the thumbs down and walks away on the vote. Do we have? Uh, can you find uh, um, uh, Carp and Coons? Uh, Carp and Coons. Um, I still contend that. The reason why there were eight people as opposed to two has to do with them trying to both um, provide cover for the White House and for each other. This is going to be a coalition that we're going to see going forward. There was also reports of Joe Manchin being very, very upset. Are you ready about this? He wanted the, 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 the $400 expansion down to 300 or he wasn't going to vote for the bill. He almost, according to the Washington Post, tanked the entire bill when he found out that the first $10,200 you earn uh, on unemployment is not counted to your uh, to your income for that year, which will prevent a lot of people from being forced to pay taxes on their unemployment benefits. It'll keep you under the threshold. And he was very upset about that and was ready to tank the bill. And I'm not convinced that 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 vote on the $15 minimum wage wasn't um, uh, wasn't a function of that. But uh, what is that that thing you sent? Can you play that? Do we have? Um, well, the- I just, I mean, I, 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 yeah, I, I respect your sensitivity about you know maybe calling out, saying that the way her body language is being discussed may be sexist. But I just don't. Well, I was sort of saying that facetiously because that's what she said. Okay, well, thank God because I don't <laughs> think that that's the case at all. I mean, I think she did. She has this kind of aesthetic where wow she wears pink and she has funky hair and it makes her so cool and different when she votes against living wages for people like there's something wrong she she thinks that this is what like it's all about attention for her she was a green party person and now she's this centrist gleefully so weird the minimum wage she's got no compass and it's all about attention it's a narcissistic enterprise for her and that's makes her childlike outfits and aesthetic even creepier yeah i mean i don't want to um where am i going with this i don't want to minimize how bad kristen cinema is uh she's definitely terrible but everyone who voted no on this is bad right like it's bad no matter what kind of body language you use no matter what kind of pose you use and i gotta say Um, After seeing her and the other folks who voted against this get heat for it, um, I think maybe it was a good strategy and kind of a fun way to turn up the heat on these holdout Democrats, you know? I don't think it was. And I mean, I, I, I think it remains to be seen, but we made this point on the show just because I think it, I think it makes the $15 minimum wage look like there's way more opposition to it than it is 
because without a doubt it's an artificial eight vote threshold that has been created by these senators providing cover for joe biden because then biden can say my point jamie like biden can say oh look there's 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 eight votes against the the two from my home state right yes and then but both isn't it possible that there are some democrats who voted for it because they knew it was going to fail so maybe that ups the numbers a little bit but I don't think that that's, that's conceivable. That's conceivable. That's conceivable. But, but, but Carper, Carper, um, Carper was for the minimum wage two years ago, $15. He tweeted out. A lot of them have tweeted and, this out. And I, you know, it is conceivable that there are people who claim to support the, the $15 minimum wage. There was no indication of that whatsoever in terms of they were trying to stop the bill. We would have heard reporting that they were actively engaged in it. Maybe people thought it was a, a, a safe vote. But I, I think that, like, look, there is there's not going to be an extra amount of pressure against these Democrats in any fashion whatsoever. All that it does is it says, when you say, like, you will notice what we do not hear. Why do we not get the $15 minimum wage? I mean, like, what, why do we all think that's the case? It is because there was no overruling of the parliamentarian. And if you can find me any discourse to that effect, since those eight people voted that way, I, I will give you a cookie. Maybe there's a little bit somewhere. But the point is it, it was designed to take the focus off the administration. It was designed to take the focus off of any individuals. If there are two people who sink the, the $15 minimum wage, very easy to name them. Can you quickly name either one of you? Can you either name like the eight people who did it quickly? Without Hass- having to think Hassan, about Hassan, Carper, Coons, Mansion, Cinema, um, the uh, one from Washington, uh, Shaheen. Shaheen. Well, that you said the two from New Hampshire, didn't you? Uh, sh- no. No, you I only said half. That's but, quite a lot of them. But did, Good job, Emma. But that's my point. That's my point. Is it? It's designed to to diffuse responsibility for it 100 percent, and that's evidenced by the fact that carper and coons joined on to this of because course. they want to be mini joe the, the, of course the, listen if joe uh, biden said you know they got released because this is a way to protect their colleagues and they are anticipating some payback and they're trying to establish something and they're trying to ratchet down the heat if one or two people or if the vice president stands in the way of the $15 minimum wage going forward, that's where the focus of the pressure is. When it's eight, it's dispersed to the point where even those of us who work on a show like this cannot isolate who those eight people are in a moment's notice. And you can forget the general public is going to do that. I mean, that it works. I just want to know that you referenced earlier. So but I tried my best. Everybody's getting a cookie anyways. I still think like I, I I see what you guys are saying, but I also like, frankly, like the uh, ability to go at Democrats with a critique like this, particularly cinema. And because I don't know, I, I think I think ultimately this isn't if, if the $15 minimum wage doesn't get passed, it's not going to be because of this. It's going to be because Joe Biden never wanted to do it in the first place. Well, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Absolutely. There, there should be focus on that. The is point what I'm is saying. that it, the real villain in the story is Joe Biden. And my I think that the vote kind of dispersed the blame towards that. That's my point. Jane. They're, they're, they're but the clues are still there with together. the with both senators. Right. Like, like, like. Oh, yeah. And also, I think maybe what you guys were saying would have held up if Kirsten Cinema had decided to, like, dab on the pores. Because now the jig is up and everybody's angry. Like, that's something you can put in a gif. And maybe now she's more likely to vote for filibuster reform because she has, like, this is going to stick in people's minds, this image of this sociopath. Sorry. Mm-hmm. What's Joe yeah, Manchin she, done? she used to be an anarchist, too. That, like, blows my goddamn mind. Hashtag not all anarchists, folks. Uh, I just feel yeah, glad that I am surrounded by good friends and comrades who will, you know, tearfully shoot me in the head if I ever start morphing into that kind of creature.